Around the world, the average life expectancy for men is about 71 years and 75 years for women. However, some people defy all odds and live up to a century and even more. While everyone wants to live a long, healthy life, only a few people are lucky enough to live up to an unbelievably old age. Here are the 20 oldest humans to ever live. Li Qingyun Chinese herbalist, martial artist, and strategic advisor Li Qingyun was reputed to have an incredibly long lifespan. His actual birth date has never been discovered and gentrologists believe that his claims about his long age are false. Chen Yung worked as an herbalist selling Lingzing, Goji Berry, Wild Ginseng, He Shu Wu, and Go Tu Kala, as well as other Chinese herbs, and subsisted on these herbs and rice wine. It was widely assumed in Sichuan that Li was fully literate as a child, and that by his 10th birthday, he had traveled to Gansu, Shenzi, Tibet, Vietnam, Thailand and Manchuria to gather herbs that he had done so for a century before beginning to purvey herbs collected by others. Wu Pei Fu, a zili warlord, invited him to his home to learn the secret of living for 250 years. On May 6, 1933, he died of natural causes in Zai Qian, Sichuan, Republic of China. During his life, Li allegedly had over 200 descendants and 23 wives. According to other sources, he had 180 descendants from 11 generations at the time of his death and 14 marriages. After his death, Yang Sen wrote a report about him called A Factual Account of the 250-Year-Old Good Luck Man, in which he described Lee's appearance as such. He has good eyesight and a brisk stride. Lee stands seven feet tall, has very long fingernails, and a ruddy complexion. Wu Cheng Che, a professor at Chengdu University, claimed that Li Cheng Yun was actually born in 1677 rather than 1736, although Li himself claimed to have been born in that year. According to a 1930 New York Times article, Wu found imperial Chinese government records from 1827 congratulating Li on his 150th birthday and additional documents later congratulating him on his 200th birthday in 1877. Many of the older adults in Li's neighborhood claimed according to a 1928 New York Times correspondent that their grandfathers knew him him when they were boys and that he was already an adult. However, scientists have referred to his claim as fantastical and pointed out that his death age, 256 years, was chosen because it was a multiple of eight, which is viewed favorably in China. Researchers noted that Li's long age may have been connected to his spiritual practices as these types of things like the myth that certain philosophies or religious practices allow a person to live to extreme old age are most common in the Far East. Time's Tortoise Pigeon Dog article from the 15th of May 1933 details his life story and features Li's response to the question of how to live a long life. Keep a quiet heart, sit like a tortoise, walk sprightly like a pigeon, and and sleep like a dog. According to an article in the Evening Independent, Lee's longevity can be attributed to his use of medicinal herbs while working as a druggist, his discovery of herbs in the Yunnan Mountains that prevent the ravages of old age, and his continued use of these herbs throughout his life. Jeannie Kelment With a life expectancy of 122 years and 164 days, Jeannie Louis Kelman of France was the oldest person ever recorded. Her long life prompted medical research on her health and way of life. She is the only person whose longevity past 120 years has been independently verified. Census records show that Kalman outlived both her daughter and her grandson. She was widely believed to be the oldest person alive in January 1988, and in 1995, at the age of 120, she was named the most senior person ever lived. On February 21, 1875, Kalmet was born in France. Some of her close family members also lived longer than average lives. Her older brother Francois, a shipbuilder, lived to be 97, as did her father Nicholas, who was 93, and her mother, who was 86. At 111 years old, Kalmet attained the title of France's oldest living person in 1986, when Vincent van Gogh moved to Arles 100 years ago. From February 1888 to April 1889, she was between the ages of 13 and 14. During this time, her profile rose. Then, according to Kalmet, she had met van Gogh, whom her future husband had introduced her in her uncle's fabric store. When Guinness declared her the oldest person ever in October, 
October of 1995, her status was further elevated. When she was 112 years old, Guinness World Records recognized her as the oldest living person in the world. When Carrie C. White of the United States claimed she was born in 1874, she forfeited this title in 1990. After White's claim was contested and ultimately refuted, Calment reclaimed the title of the oldest living person in the world following White's passing in 1991. She made a fleeting appearance in the 1990 fantasy movie Vincent and Me, walking outside and fielding questions around the age of 114. Around 10 a.m. on August 4, 1997, Calment died from an unknown cause. According to the New York Times, she had been in good health until a month before she passed, despite being nearly blind and deaf. Kane Tanaka Kane Tanaka, a Japanese supercentarian, held the title of oldest living person until she passed away at the age of 119 years, 107 days. She's the second oldest verified person ever after Jean Calment and the oldest verified person in Japan. On January 2, 1903, Tanaka was born in the village of Wajir, which is now part of Higashiku, Fukukoa, in the southern island of Kyushu. Kane was the third daughter and seventh child to be born in her family. Kane and her family claimed that she was actually born on December 26, 1902, but that her parents put off filing the report for a week because they were unsure of her survival date due to her premature birth. In 1922, Kane wed her cousin Hideo Tanaka, with whom she had two daughters and two sons. Besides that, the couple took in their niece, Hideo's sister's second child. She had five grandchildren and eight great-grandchildren. From September of 2018, Kane resided in her nursing home and was said to be in good health when she turned 118. Tanaka had been scheduled to carry the Olympic torch during the 2020 Summer Olympics, but she backed out due to worries about an uptick in COVID-19 cases in Japan. She took brief strolls through the nursing home hallways and occasionally played the board game Othello. Her interests included arithmetic, puzzle solving, and calligraphy. On April 19, 2022, Tanaka passed away, only nine days after being confirmed as the second oldest person ever to have lived. Her passing was reported on April 25, 2022. According to the Japanese Health Ministry, no specific cause of death was given, but her grandson claimed she had been feeling unwell since late 2021. Sarah Noss Sarah Noss was a supercentenarian who gained fame for her long and healthy life. She was born on September 24, 1880, and lived to be 119 years old. Noss is recognized by the Guinness World Records as the oldest living person in the world at the time of her death on December 30, 1999. She was born in Hollywood, Pennsylvania, and lived most of her life in the U.S. Noss was known for her positive attitude and active lifestyle, including gardening and walking regularly. She attributed her longevity to a diet that included healthy foods like fruits, vegetables, and fish, and staying physically and mentally active. Noss also had a close-knit group of family and friends, and she credited her solid social connections as a factor in her long and healthy life. Noss faced many challenges and losses throughout her life, including losing her husband and their only daughter. Despite these challenges, Noss remained positive and continued to live a full and meaningful life. She enjoyed spending time with her family and friends and was well known for her kind and generous spirit. Noss's long and healthy life has inspired many worldwide to strive for a similar level of wellness and longevity. She's a testament to the power of a positive attitude, a healthy lifestyle, and strong social connections in promoting a long and healthy life. Lucille Rendon Sister Andre is another name for the French supercentenarian Lucille Rendon. She has held the title of the oldest verified living person in the world at 118 years and 314 days old since Kane Tanaka passed away on April 19, 2022. She tested positive for COVID-19 a month before her 117th birthday, making her the oldest known survivor of the COVID-19 pandemic and the fourth oldest person ever recorded. Randon was born in France on February 11, 1904. She's a Roman Catholic nun who converted to the faith as a young adult. When she was 12 years old in 1916, she moved to Marseille and started working as a governess for three children. When she was hired in 1922 to work for a wealthy family at Versailles as both a governess and a teacher, she was given more respect. Responsibility. Up until 1936, she served as a governess and a teacher at Versailles. Before retiring at age 75, she served as a governess, teacher, and missionary. Since 2009, she's lived in a nursing home in Toulon, France. As of early 2010, Randon, who is now blind, has been a wheelchair user. Nabi Tajima 
Nabi Tajima was a Japanese supercentenarian renowned for her long and healthy life. She was born on August 4, 1900, and lived to be 117 years old. Tajima was born on the island of Kikajima, Japan, and spent most of her life living and working on the island. She had a large family, including nine children, 28 grandchildren, 56 great-grandchildren, and 35 great-great-grandchildren. At 117 years and 260 days old, she was the second oldest Japanese ever, just behind Kane Tanaka. For seven months, she was also the most senior person still alive. At the time of her passing, she was both the most aged Asian and Japanese person ever. She's also the last known person to have lived in the 19th century. She was the final survivor of the lost generation. She had more than 160 descendants as of September of September of 2017, including great 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 grandchildren. Tajima passed away on April 21st, 2018, at the age of 117, in a hospital in Kakai, Kagoshima, Japan. It was later revealed that she had been hospitalized since January. Violet Brown. Violet Brown was a Jamaican supercentenarian who was the oldest verified living person in the world for five months from the death of Emma Moreno on the 15th of April 2017 until her own death on the 15th of September 2017 at the age of 117 years, 189 days. She was one of the two last living people known to have been born in the 19th century, along with Nabi Tajimi of Japan. Violet Moss Brown was born on March 10, 1900, as one of four children to John Moss, a sugar boiler, and Elizabeth Riley in Duvale, Trelawney, British Jamaica. At the age of 13, she was baptized into the Baptist Church. In an April 2017 interview with the Jamaican Observer, Brown stated that she was in better health than her five remaining children and was free of illness. When asked about the reasons for her longevity, Brown told the Jamaica Gleaner there was no secret formula to her long life. Really and truly, when people ask what I eat and drink to live so long, I say to them I eat everything except pork and chicken, and I don't drink rum and dentings. She's the oldest verified Jamaican and the country's first supercentenarian. Emma Murano Emma Martina Luigia Marano, 117 years and 137 days old, was the world's oldest living person from 13th May 2016 until her death on 15 April 2017. She was also the last living person known to have been born in the 1800s at the time of her death. She is the oldest Italian and the third oldest European ever after Jeannie Calment and Lucille Rendon. Moreno was born in Piedmont in November 29, 1899. Her mother, aunt, and some of her siblings all lived to be 90 and one of her sisters, Angela Moreno, died at the age of 102. Moreno worked at a jute factory in her hometown until 1954. After that, she worked in the kitchen at St. Maria College, a Marianist boarding school in Verbania, until she retired at the age of 75. The Italian president bestowed the honor of Knight of the Order of Merit of the Italian Republic on her in December of 2011. When asked about the secret of her longevity in 2013, she stated that she ate three eggs a day, occasionally drank a glass of homemade grappa, and sometimes enjoyed a chocolate bar. But most importantly, she thought positively about the future. In 2016, she attributed her long life to diet of raw eggs and cookies and her decision to remain single after an unhappy marriage she ended in 1938. Chayo Miyako Chayo Miyako was nicknamed the goddess by her family members. Guinness World Records confirmed that she was the world's oldest person until her death in July of 2018. Miyako, who was born on May 2, 1901, surpassed Nabi Tajimi as the world's oldest person in April of 2018. According to Guinness World Records, Miyako's family described her as a chatty person who was patient and kind to others and enjoyed delicious food, particularly sushi and eels. She began learning calligraphy as a child and continued to do so until before she passed away. She also had the opportunity to travel because of her husband, Shoji, who worked as a Japanese National Railways, according to Guinness. According to the World Health Organization, Japanese women have the world's highest life expectancy of 87, while men's life expectancy is in the top 10. The traditional Japanese diet and good health care are cited as contributing factors. Misao Okawa Masao Okawa was a Japanese supercentenarian who gained stardom for her long and healthy life. She was born on March 5, 1898, and lived to be 117 years old. Okawa was recognized by the Guinness World Records as the oldest living person in the world at the time until her death on April 1, 2015. Okawa was born in Osaka, Japan, and spent most of her life living in the city. 
In her later years, she resided in an Osaka nursing home. She married Yukio in 1919, and they had three children, two of whom were still alive when she died. She was also the grandmother of four grandchildren and six great-grandchildren. Pasao Okawa was officially recognized as the oldest living woman in the world by Guinness World Records on February 27, 2013, a few days before her 115th birthday, and was presented with a certificate at her nursing home in Osaka. She was the oldest verified Japanese and Asian person until Nabi Tajim broke the record in 2017. Maria Copavia Mara Copavia was an Ecuadorian supercentenarian who died at the age of 116 years, 347 days, making her the world's oldest living person, according to Guinness World Records. She was born in Guayaquil, the daughter of a colonel, and lived among the upper-class elite, attending social functions and art classes. She never smoked and only drank occasionally. Capovia nearly died at the age of 100 and was given last rites, but she had been free of health problems since then. In December 2005, at the age of 116, Maria was in good health for her age, watching TV, reading the newspaper, and walking without a stick. Capovia could not leave her home in the two years leading up to her death, and she shared the residence with her eldest daughter Hilda and her son-in-law. Capovia's health had deteriorated by March 2006, and she could no longer read the newspaper. She had almost stopped talking and could only walk with the assistance of two people. Capovia could still sit in her chair and fan herself, and was doing well until she died of pneumonia in the last week of August 2006, 18 days before her 117th birthday. Capovia's records were submitted to Guinness on August 27, 2005, exactly one year before her death at the age of 115 years, 347 days, and she was named the world's oldest person on December 9, 2005, at the age of 116 years, 86 days. Jerome Karuma Jeremy Kimura was a Japanese man who lived for 116 years and 54 days. On December 28, 2012, he became the verified oldest man in history, outliving Christian Mortensen and remaining the only man to live to the age of 116. After the death of 113-year-old James Sinsit on May 23, 2013, Kimura was last verified surviving pre-20th century born man and possibly the last living World War I veteran. Kimura became Japan's oldest alive man after Tomoji Tanabe died in June of 2009. On April 19, 1897, he was born in a fishing village of Kyoto. Kimura was conscripted to the Imperial Japanese Army on the April 1st of 1918 and assigned to a communications unit in Tokyo. Kimura was hospitalized for pneumonia on May 11, 2013 and recovered temporarily. His health began to deteriorate again in early June 2013 and his blood sugar level, urine production, and response decreased. Kimura died of natural causes on June 12, 2013 in a hospital in his hometown. Christian Mortensen Thorvald Thomas Peter Christian Ferdinand Mortensen, also known as Christian Mortensen, was a supercentenarian from Denmark who lived in California, USA. When he died, he had the longest verified male lifespan at the time, at 115 years and 252 days, until German Kimmerer surpassed him in 2012. Christian Mortensen was born on August 16, 1882, the son of a tailor near the city of Skanderborg. In 1898, he began working as a tailor's apprentice in Skanderborg at the age of 16 and later as a farmhand. Mortensen was baptized on December 26, 1882. Other records besides his baptismal record include the 1890 and 1901 census enumerations in Denmark and church confirmation in 1896. Miliano Ricardo del Toro Miliano Ricardo del Toro was a Puerto Rican supercentenarian and military veteran who, at the age of 115, was the world's oldest person after 116-year-old Elizabeth Bolden died on December 11, 2006, and the world's most senior man since November 19, 2004, until he passed away. Emiliano was born in Cabo Rojo, Puerto Rico, when it was still a Spanish colony, on the 21st of August, 1891. Emiliano worked in the cane fields until he was 81 years old. At the time of his death in January 2007, Ricardo was the second oldest fully validated male ever, trailing Danish-American Christian Mortensen's record of 115 years, 252 days. Even though Shigchayo Izumi was believed to be older at the time of his death, Guinness World Records removed Izumi's record in 2010. Walter Bruning Walter Bruning, born September 21, 1896, was an American supercentenarian who held the record of the oldest living person from July 18, 2009 until he died in 2011. Walter Bruning was born in the Minnesota town of Melrose. Bruning was the third oldest verified American man ever, trailing only Danish-born Christian Mortensen and African-American Matthew Beard, and the second oldest man ever born in the United States as of 2022. He was the fourth oldest verified man ever at the time of his death in 2011. As of 2022, 
two, he's the fifth oldest and 36th oldest American. Bruning spent 32 years at the Rainbow Retirement and Assisted Living Center in Great Falls, Montana, first moving in when it was the Rainbow Hotel in 1979 when he was 83 years old. In 1996, when he turned 100, the Rainbow Hotel became the Rainbow Assisted Living Center. Bruning was a cigar smoker his entire life, but he quit in 1999 when he was 103 because he said they had become too expensive. He did, however, briefly pick up smoking again at the age of 108, encouraged by gifts of cigars from as far away as London. Bruning still had a sharp memory. He could recall his memories from when he was only three about his grandfather telling him his experiences in the American Civil War. The day President William McKinley was shot was the day that he got his first haircut, which he could vividly recount. Bruning stated that staying active is the key to living a long life on his 112th birthday in 2008. If you keep your mind and body busy, you're going to be around for a long time. Yukichi Chuganachi Yukichi Chuganachi was a Japanese silkworm breeder, agricultural instructor, bank employee, and community welfare officer. He was born on March 23, 1889 and lived for 114 years and 189 days. He was the oldest living person and the oldest Japanese man ever at the time of his passing. Chuganachi preferred beef, pork, and chicken over vegetables. He believed that eating toffee, drinking milk, occasionally sipping apple juice, and only occasionally imbibing in alcohol were the keys to living a long life. He was bedridden and suffering from failing eyesight in his final years. On September 28, 2003, in the evening, following the delivery of an apple juice glass, he passed away naturally. Gustav Gernath Gustav Gernath was born in Stettin, German Empire, which is now part of Poland, on October 15, 1905. He had jobs at a gas plant and a shipping company. He worked as a mechanic for the German Air Force during World War II. In 1930, he wed Charlotte Grubert, and they had three sons. 1988 saw her passing. Gernath spent more than 40 years living alone in Havelberg, Saxony-Anhalt, with family members taking care of his home. On his 113th birthday, his granddaughter claimed he was still mentally sharp and enjoyed watching football, finishing crossword puzzles, and performing mental calculations. When asked the cause of his long life, he replied, I've always had a healthy lifestyle and diet. No diet. Never use margarine. Always use butter. I've never smoked in my life, and I've only ever gotten drunk for special occasions. Gernath, who was believed to be the oldest man alive, passed away on October 21, 2019 from natural causes at the age of 114 years and 6 days. Yisrael Crystal, The oldest living Holocaust survivor, Yisrael Crystal, a Polish-Israel supercentenarian born in September of 1903, was recognized in 2014. Yatsutaro Kodi, a Japanese man, passed away on January 18, 2016, making Crystal the oldest man to have ever lived and one of the 10 most senior men in history at 113 years and 330 days old. Crystal was born in Malinik, then a part of Poland under the Russian Empire, in 1903 to religious parents. He practiced his religion his entire life. He worked as a confectioner and was a young adult during World War I and, get this, an adult during World War II. He fled the Holocaust and settled in Israel. Crystal passed away at his home in Haifa on 11th August 2017, just five weeks before his 114th birthday. Masezao Nanaka Masezao Nanaka was born on July 25, 1905, had held the title of the oldest living person in Japan since October 2016, and the most senior live person in the world since January 2018 at the time of his passing. Nanaka also held the record for the oldest birth in Hokkaido. He had two brothers and three sisters. Nanaka married in 1931. Three of his five children were still alive at his death. He oversaw the 1905 founded family Onsen. He was mostly in a wheelchair in his later years and attributed his long life to enjoying sweets and relaxing in the hot springs. On January 20, 2019, Nanaka Naka passed away at home from natural causes. She was 113 years and 179 days old. Francisco Nunez Oliveira Born on December 13, 1904, Francisco Nez Oliveira spent his entire life in the village of Benavida in the Extremadian province of Badvoz. To participate in the Rif War, he enlisted in the army at age 19. Additionally, he served in the Spanish Civil War. Due to his resemblance to flamenco singer-songwriter actor Pepe Marchena, he was given the moniker Marchena. He outlived his two sons and his wife, who passed away in 1988. He shared a home with his older daughter Myra Antonia in his later years as a pensioner. Oliveira underwent a cataract procedure at 98 and had his kidney removed when he was 90. Other than that, he was in good health. Oliveira lived to the age of 113 years and 47 days. He was the last surviving Spanish Rif War veteran and the oldest veteran in the Spanish Army at the time of his death on the 29th of January 2018.